know who's actually prepared to film. Kinda, sorta. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing an almost full face of YSL. So, I was in Sephora. This is actually a, a while ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I picked up a bunch of things, not a bunch, but I picked up some things from YSL because it was a brand I hadn't really tried a whole lot of, and I really wanted to try out their foundation, and while I was there, I was like, oh, I see, I see the concealer, I see a mascara, I see this, I see that. So I picked up a few things that I've been waiting to use them because I wanted to use them all together in like a full face video. There are two products in here that I've already used, so those aren't going to be first impressions. That is the lip stain that I used in my last tutorial, the cherry blossom tutorial. I'll throw that up in the cards. And then the other one is the primer because of course we're going to use the YSL primer with the rest of the YSL products. So before we jump into the Get Ready With Me style video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these videos. And if you want to see any more in the future, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so let's first dive into everything that I got from YSL and then we'll start with the application. So, this product I actually already owned. It is the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I have enough left in here, I believe, for one application, so I've been saving it for that. I also have a little makeup scooper. If you don't have one of these, definitely get one. I found mine at Marshall's for like a dollar. And it's just a little like spatula made so that you can scoop into like foundation bottles or primer bottles just so that you can get the rest of it out. Because what's left in this bottle, I actually can't get out with the spatula that's on the cap. I have to go in with something like this. And you know with how much this is worth, I'm not leaving anything in the bottle. Like it's going to be clean. Clean for recycling. <laughs> So next I got the All Hours Foundation. This is something that I've been waiting forever to try. I went into Sephora, this is before I started working there, so I bought everything myself. And I got the color Warm Almond, which is BD30. So I think this should work for me. Like it looks like it matches my neck and my chest, so it should work for me. I'm really excited. It's supposed to be up to 24 hour wear, flawless matte, full coverage. It's a lot of claims. The next item I picked up is the All Hours Concealer that goes with the foundation. I also got the shade 3 Almond. So I am hoping that this is light enough for me to use under my eyes. Mm, I think we'll have to actually see it like go on to see if it's light enough, but it's looking a little dark, so I'm not sure if I picked this out because it looked like the lightest in their lineup. They didn't have a whole lot of shades, I will say, for the concealer. But we'll definitely try this out and see how it looks. I also picked up two lip products. One is the, I cannot pronounce this for this life of me, but it's the matte lip stain where I used this in my cherry blossom tutorial. And it is just the most beautiful light pink. And it's really, really, really comfortable. So I am glad that I picked that one up. And then the other lip product I got was the Rehab Lip Mask. So I think this is like a lip care product. Ooh, look at that packaging. It's beautiful. Oh, it's like a gloss. Okay, that actually looked really pretty with the stain. Okay, so it looks like a gloss that is nice and pink and shiny. And I think it would look really pretty on top of the lip stain. Yeah, so it looks like it's supposed to be an overnight lip mask. I'm not sure if I could wear it like over the lip stain as a gloss because it does look really pretty. This also would look really pretty like if you're doing a no makeup makeup day. I think this would look really cute. Those are all the YSL products I picked up. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna throw my hair back and get a, ooh, yeah, forgive the hair. I'm still like really trying to figure out this curly hair thing. My hair is naturally curly, but I've been blow drying it and straightening it since I was like 11. So I actually have no idea how to take care of curly hair. I, I just learned what a pineapple was like a week ago. Like, forgive me. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to leave it curly more often. Okay, so I'm first going to go in with the Touche Claw Blur Primer. And honestly, I think this such an amazing primer. I'm really upset that it's that expensive because it makes me want to buy the full size. So this primer feels like a like moisturizing silicone primer which is unique for me because whenever I use like a silicone based primer it always feels a little drying on my skin. Like you get the nice smooth base but it, it feels a little dry. But for this one I get that same like smooth base but I also feel moisturized which 
I just love it. Okay, now that the primer has settled in for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the foundation onto my palette. It is a little runny on the palette a little bit, but I think the shade should work. So I do have a Beauty Blender and my Sigma F80. So I think I'm gonna dot it first right here and try it with the Sigma and see how that works. I am going to be taking this all the way down my neck as well. Okay, so some first impressions right off the bat on that layer. It doesn't really look full coverage. I am seeing some scarring come through right here. I have a breakout right there. It's just kind of settling on top of. But it does look really nice right here. And that's like my least troublesome area where I don't have any texture. I don't really have any scarring. Looks good right there. But in like my more problematic areas, it's already looking a little eh. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. But I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender to see if that makes a difference. Okay, so right off the bat, definitely getting less coverage with the sponge, but I do like the finish better. So I think this is going to be a foundation where you would apply it with the brush and then just smooth it over with the sponge to get the rest of your problem areas. So let me go ahead and just put it on the rest of my face like that. Okay, so I did do about four pumps of the foundation and I'm already out of it and I still have to do like my nose area. So this doesn't really go too far. So in this lighting now, I don't know if it oxidized a little bit, but it is looking a lot darker now than my chest. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit longer and probably just like close the shirt, <laughs> but it is looking dark. Okay, so off of one layer, definitely not full coverage, but it does build up nicely on top of lightly textured skin, like in the lightly textured problem areas. I did a second layer and it did cover it, but like on top of my breakout right here, it just looks really cakey and really, really bad. So if you have a lot of acne, I don't think this is going to cover it that well, but if you have like light texture, like small bumps, it will cover that up. So this is supposed to be a full coverage matte foundation. So before it dries down, I'm gonna jump in with the concealer. And now seeing like how dark the foundation was, I think this should work under my eyes. So this again is in the shade 3 Almond. So let's try. Ooh, yeah, that's dark. It's like almost the same shade as the foundation. Yeah, that's practically the same shade as the foundation. Okay. Okay, so the concealer is blended out. Definitely not a full coverage concealer. I see my freckles, I see my bags. It is a nice, like, light medium coverage. It lo does look very glowy. If you're going for, like, a glowy, like, spring fresh kind of look, I think this would be nice, especially if you're going for minimal makeup. But... Like, if I bought a full coverage foundation and I'm looking for a full coverage concealer to go with it, this isn't the one. I'm going to see if maybe I can build it up. Let's see. Let me just do a little bit more. I don't want it to look cakey, but I do want to cover these dark circles. Let's just do a little bit. I think it's definitely oxidizing because I just brought it down my neck and it wasn't this dark. I don't know if you can tell. It wasn't this dark a few minutes ago. And now you can see like a line right here. So that might be something to keep in mind if you're looking for a shade. You might want to go a shade lighter than you think because this is, this is getting dark. Let me try building this up. Okay, so that definitely helped, but I don't know if I would reach for this for like a full coverage day when I know I have other concealers that'll do this on one layer, but it doesn't look bad. And like I said, for like a light coverage, light foundation day, this might be good. So we got our base on, we're looking a little, little nuts down here, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face because that's the end of the base products from YSL that I have, and we'll be back when it's time for lips. 
Okay guys, we're back. The rest of my makeup is done and my hair is definitely crooked. Let me go ahead and tell you what's on the rest of my face real quick. The foundation did not set within like five minutes, so I went and set it with two powders. For my under eyes, I used the Invisible HD Face Powder from Natasha Denona, and on the rest of my face, I used the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So I set my face with those powders, and then I jumped in with the max fix plus like i normally do and then i set it with the skinnavia setting spray and that definitely helped the foundation before then it was looking a little blah but after i put on the powder and sprayed my setting sprays it definitely ended up looking a lot better the shade was still a little off but i was able to fix that a little bit with my right shade in the stay matte powder so now you don't see too much of like a giant line like a mask down here. For my bronzer slash contour today, I'm using the Smashbox Contour Palette and I just use the lightest like ashy shade right here. I have the, this is the lightest palette I think and it's the shade right there. For my blush, I'm using the, this is a new blush that I just picked up. This is the Romantic Rose Blush from Milani and it's gorgeous if I can open it and it looks just like a rose right there it's gorgeous it's like a nice neutral tone since i did a palette roulette on my eyes i had no idea how it was going to turn out so i wanted to go for like a neutral blush that would kind of go with everything and then of course if you missed it i'll link it up in the cards above but for my eyes i did a palette roulette with the new kat von d anniversary palette and I love the way that it looked out so don't forget to check that video up in the cards above and then for that video I actually just went in and put on the like lip mask from YSL and it actually makes a really pretty gloss like I think let me just put on a little bit more because I've been talking like a mad woman like I know it's supposed to be like an overnight mask or something but I like it as a gloss so I'm, I'm wearing it as a gloss <laughs> I didn't think the eye look would really go well with this lip stain, but I do love this lip stain and this lip stain formula. I have used it a couple of times. And spoiler alert, I think this is one of the products from YSL that's actually worth it. So along those lines, let's go ahead and talk about all the products that I put on today and whether I think they're actually worth the money. Starting off with the primer. I'm gonna have to buy this primer, guys. I actually love the hell out of this primer. I don't know what it is. It's it's definitely not a gimmick it just works so well with my combination skin the foundations like i've used this with more than one foundation drugstore and higher end and they always just glide on top of it and it lasts longer than when i use them with other primers i think the primer is definitely one of the items from ysl that is worth the splurge moving on to the foundation and the concealer honestly like from this application and from like the trouble I had with the shade because I was in the store for a while too trying to match my shade it's I, I don't think the foundation is worth it if I'm being really really honest it's not full coverage on the first round you have to build it up the shade is troublesome and looks like it oxidizes and honestly I don't have time for it I really don't um I'm gonna try it out a couple more times see if I can find a way to make it work but if I can't, I'm going to be returning it. Hello guys, editing Monica here. I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick update on the wear time for the foundation and for the concealer. I plan to do a check-in at the end of this day, but at the end of the day with this foundation, it actually looked so bad that I didn't want to put it on camera. It totally wore off of my chin, my entire chin, which is like this blank spot. That was super noticeable and it also wore off my nose. It was the worst that my makeup has looked in probably forever. So I really will not be wearing this foundation again. I'm definitely going to be returning it. I'm going to be holding on to this because I think it would look really nice on like no makeup makeup days or if I'm going for like a glowy spring look. Like if I had had this before my glowy spring tutorial, I probably would have used this in place of the other Chantecaille foundation or the in place of the other Chantecaille concealer that I was using because it is a nice glowy under eye, but it's really light coverage. And your girl's got some bags under her eyes like oh, I need them covered. <laughs> 
So I'll hold on to this and I'll try it out a few more times, but I only think it's worth it if you know ahead of time it's not going to be full coverage and it's going to be glowy. So if you're going for a full coverage matte look, don't, don't even look at this concealer, just don't. Back to the positives, I really think the lip products are worth it. I adore this lip stain. I have the shade 11, which is like a mauve, like a mauve like dusty rose. I really want to try out some other shades. I'm going to the mall today and I'm going to a fancy mall, you know, where the Sephora carries nothing but Pat McGrath and Dior. So I'm going to see if I can find another shade of this lip stain, maybe like a red. And I really want to try it out. So I'm definitely like, I think this is worth the price because it's super comfortable. It lasts and when it wears off a little bit because when I eat meals at work I will apply my lip color again afterwards but after it wears off in the middle it reapplies really well because with some products if you reapply it you could see like the line of what you put on in the morning versus what you just reapplied you don't get that with this lip stain and it's super comfortable like you don't even feel like you're wearing anything it's definitely worth it and last but not least the lip mask it's definitely super comfortable you're supposed to wear it like overnight and then in the morning your lips are going to be very comfortable but i like it as a gloss like it feels comfortable you can definitely wear it throughout the day if you don't have anything else on i don't know how it would perform on top of other products but i think it's like a fancy alternative to like a chapstick is what I'm saying. Like I think it kind of does just a little bit of the same thing, but fancy. <laughs> so out of the YSL products, the ones that I think are actually worth the money are going to be the lip mask, the lip stain, and the primer. So if you're wondering about the brand and you don't really know where to start, that's where I would point you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, if you're not already, subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.